What is going on YouTube? It is Randy Talks Mets in the building and this video is going to be about Francisco Lindor and what's basically behind the success in 2022 and what's working for Francisco Lindor. We're going to get into it, but definitely guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, let's get into the video guys. Francisco Lindor, you know what I'm saying? The man of the hour, uh, you know, the 341 million man that the Mets signed for 10 years. You know, this is basically... Uh, a really good start for uh, Francisco Lindor. He's really getting the barrel to the ball. He's doing what he can. Uh, he has a lot of protection, you know, in the lineup as well. You know, the lineup is basically, you know, more free for him. So we'll get into that. But definitely, guys, we know that, you know, uh, 2021 was a terrible, horrible year for Francisco Lindor uh, in 2021. And the start of the year... You know, uh, the Mets got him, and everybody thought, oh, Francisco Lindor is going to come from the Cleveland and, you know, to New York, and he's just going to take over, and he's going to do what he can, and he's going to thrive right away. And it just didn't work out that way, honestly. Francisco Lindor, it just didn't work that way. Um, you know, he struggled a lot at first, and, you know, it seemed like he was struggling with a lot of things, guys. It seemed like Francisco Lindor in 2021 was struggling with the city, adjusting to the city adjusting to the fans and adjusting to the market which is one of the hardest markets to play in in New York. A lot of players thrive in New York and a lot of players don't thrive in New York. There are certain players what is it called? Steven Matz, Sonny Gray. These type of players that, you know, pitch good or play good in other teams and not in New York. You know, we know um you know Steven Matz was struggling so much with the Mets and you know when he went to the Toronto he started to pitch better because the market is smaller and it's not as big as New York. Sometimes New York is a lot of pressure for these guys. And, you know, it was definitely a lot of pressure for Francisco Lindor in 2021. And in 2021, I know that, you know, you know he's, he's a baseball player, right? He's a professional baseball player. There really are no, excuse, no excuses in baseball. But just in general... Uh, in 2021, he had to adjust to a lot. He had to adjust to the city, to the market, to the fans. And, you know, yes, he did get, you know, he's, he's getting all that money, you know. Uh, but just in general, it was just a tough adjustment for Francisco Lindor. And honestly, offensively, he struggled so much. He wasn't getting the barrel to the ball. Every time he would hit the ball, it would be like little grounders to the pitcher or, you know, little ground outs, and, you know, he just wasn't getting the barrel to the ball, and that's the key for Francisco Lindor, you know, we know what Francisco Lindor can do, we know the power that Francisco Lindor has, we know the gap-to-gap -gap power, you know, the, the way he can hit, we know that he can hit from the left side and the right side, we know how talented Francisco Lindor is, in 2021, he just, you know, it just wasn't coming together for him, and it came together too late, and obviously, you know, uh, the first half of the season, Francisco Lindor struggled so much and his average was terrible below the 200s, um, uh, you know, uh, around 200. And, you know, he got it more up, you know, in the second half of the season. And he started to look like himself more in the second half of the season. But, you know, uh, a lot of people thought that uh, Francisco Lindor, you know, we thought that, you know, OK, you know, the second half of the season, he started to improve. He got 20 home runs, you know, batting average was 230. Uh, RBI 63, you know, um, Francisco Lindor was getting better, but this year, 2022 was the big year for him. It was the big year for him to take off right away. And guess what he's doing? The, the, uh, Francisco Lindor is taking off right away. He's uh, on a great pace right now. You know what I'm saying? His batting average is 313. He has four home runs. He has 20 hits. He has 12 RBIs. You know, he has 12 runs scored and three stolen bases. This is the guy the Mets signed for $341 million. A guy that can hit for average, a guy that can hit for power, and a guy that can be clutch. Now, we've seen in 2022, recently, Francisco Lindor, so many situations, he has been clutch. He has been hitting the ball. And the way he has been hitting the ball is not just hitting the ball regular. It's hitting the ball on the barrel, getting the barrel to the ball. That's the key for Francisco Lindor. That's really the key. So we see the power. We know that Francisco Lindor has the power. We know that, you know, his glove is great. So, you know, there's a reason why he's a four-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glover, and two-time Silver Slugger winner. There's a reason. You know what I'm saying? So Francisco Lindor right now is in his prime. So the Mets, 
Sign Francisco Lindor for him to perform, and right now he is performing. So I love what I see from Francisco Lindor. Like I said, he's getting the barrel to the ball, and he just looks more comfortable, guys. He looks more comfortable. There's a lot of protection around him, around the lineup. Pete Alonso, you know, is doing his thing, and that's giving him more protection as well. Uh, you know, Starling Marte in the lineup. You know, Brandon Nimmo coming to himself, getting better. These guys, Mark Canna, these professional hitters that, you know, is around Francisco Lindor is making Francisco Lindor more comfortable, you know, is, is making Francisco Lindor better at the plate. And, you know, is and, and Eduardo Escobar as well, another guy that's protecting Francisco Lindor in the lineup. So it's not just all on Francisco Lindor like it was last year. You know, now the Mets did have some people last year, but not as much as offensive power as they have right now in 2022. So, you know, um, right now, 2022, guys, is looking really good for Francisco Lindor. I say that, um, you know, obviously, there is going to be some struggles with Francisco Lindor. He is going to struggle. But I love what I see from Francisco Lindor. I like the, you know, gap-to-gap -gap power he has. I like the power he has. I like, honestly, how he's getting the barrel to the ball. And I just like how he's feeling. He looks more comfortable. He looks more comfortable in this New York market. He looks more comfortable in the city. So I love what I see from Francisco Lindor. Let me know, guys, um, you know, if you think I missed anything about Francisco Lindor. But I think I really, you know, hit it on the notch there. Uh, I think that was really the big issue. You know, getting the barrel to the ball and the New York market and the adjustments to the new city. Because it wasn't easy coming to Cleveland. It wasn't, it wasn't easy coming from Cleveland. And yes, Francisco Lindor is an amazing talent. And I think what we're seeing right now is what Francisco Lindor is or truly is, to be honest. So, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Definitely, guys. Love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. And, yeah, uh, let's just keep growing. Let's keep grinding. And I'm coming with more consistent videos. You know, I had to go on a little vacation for about a week. And, you know, um, I enjoyed my time, but now it's time to get back to work and it's time to get back on the grind and it's time to upload consistent video for you guys. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. Uh, have an amazing day. And I always want to end my videos with telling you guys you can do anything that you want to do in your life. Don't let anyone stop you. And yeah, this has been Randy Talks Mental and I'm out of here.